Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. You know, let me just repeat for you the headline on the Giants official website, what it says. Actually, it would be the description of the headline. Alex Wood needed one more out to finish a strong start, but the last out he needed was the one he couldn't get. I'm probably not quoting that word for word, but you get the idea. Alex Wood was two outs into the sixth inning. He was about to get out of it and make a strong start, which we need to see strong starts from Wood. That is just a basic fact right now. The last batter he would have had to face had he retired him, Eric Haas, not to be confused with Eric Hosmer. This is H-A-A-S-E. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Eric Koss hit a two-run home run off of Alex Wood to ruin his real strong start. And even then, three runs in six innings, it's not super, super bad, but it just wasn't good enough this time. And the Giants, I've mentioned this, they need to be able to count on Alex Wood more than they probably really feel that they can right now. And any time you almost make it through something and get nabbed on your final test, that's just like losing the whole thing. If it ruins it for you, any time you get nabbed on your final test, that is a tragedy. Because it means you almost did something just about perfectly, and yet you lost it final time. So Wood was down to his final out. Boy, these flies keep buzzing around. Don't get distracted by them. I wish I could just use my thumbnail photo the whole video long, but apparently it doesn't allow you do that to do that. So just don't get distracted by flies and bugs or outside noises. Doing the best I can to make this quality focused on what we are talking about. But yeah, in baseball, that's how it goes, particularly as a pitcher. You know, you may pitch a great game for several innings, then you're on your last one, nearing the end of your pitch count. And it's still possible, even if it looks like you're pitching a great game, it's still possible to make your team lose by making a mistake at the end of it. And when that happens, it's just a tragedy. But that is what happened today, and the Giants couldn't come back. Tyler Rogers pitched one and a third innings and Junior Marte came in he pitched the final two inning final two innings of the game excuse me but it wasn't enough the Giants couldn't come back and the Giants you'll remember had struck first in this game Evan Longoria homered in the first inning so the Giants took the lead first then the Tigers tied it and then we were in that sixth inning the home run that's when the home run happened and it was three to one Tigers the Giants would get one more run on Mike Yastrzemski's ground out. One of those, it was one of those times when you can score a run without a hit. Just a productive out, you get something for it. But it wasn't enough. The Giants wouldn't score any more runs in that inning or any. And the Tigers won by a run. It was 3-2. to two. So we need to see quality starts. We need to see strong starts from Alex Wood. And not just almost either. We need to see full length strong starts where he's pitching well even when going deep into the game. This is just critical because he was supposed to be a big part of the Giants rotation and we are not seeing him stepping up to that right now. But I, I mean his effort today, I guess we won't take that for granted that at least he showed he can pitch well a bit didn't go well in the sixth inning, but I hope that he improves soon. I think the Giants would all appreciate that if he could kind of step up and lead the team and be good from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. Because if you're a starting pitcher and you mess up in the first inning and then maybe you even get taken out in the second or third and your team just mops that up with the relief pitchers that they want to use, and that may include position players pitching, hey, that's one thing 
but it's another thing and it's still a way to lose when the starter is pitching well for some time and then going through the lineup for say the third time a batter figures them out and then they lose it so anyway that is what went wrong today I believe it'll be just one more game in the series against the Tigers this is crucial that the Giants win tomorrow because it will make the difference of whether they lose their third straight series in a row or whether they win a series and again I don't know how you divide your season mathematically but I think whether a team is winning their series is, is a good way to do that and the Giants there they're due for winning a series they need to win one so tomorrow just a lot of weight hangs on a win or a loss I would say and it doesn't have really any mathematical value which games you win as long as it's not competing with your division rivals or competing exactly with a direct close opponent for a wild card spot. If you're just talking about interleague play or play maybe with a team that's the worst in the league anyway, I would say it's not really mathematically important which games you win. I still think that winning or losing series, I think that is a great way to measure the success of a team, which is why I believe a win tomorrow is just crucial for the Giants. I hope they get it, and so should all Giants fans. You have been watching Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. Also, if you would like to email me, it's gabrielvon89 at gmail.com. Thank, so, thank you so much for watching. I will see you either tomorrow or I may decide to do it Friday morning depending on how late the game goes. Sometimes I don't stay up to do all of the recording and editing and everything on the same day, but I will get back to you about what happens tomorrow. Like I said, it's, it's a critical game. The Giants could use a win. It's a two out of three here, and the Giants, they need the two right now. Their record is close, 40 wins. I think today makes it 34 losses. So that's not as, as close as half and half, obviously, but it is a close record. So anyway, let's go Giants. We hope for the best. I'll see you next time.